Did I get a new key? Not to that one. So what rooms have I not solved yet? Because one of those could probably do with a an actual solution. You. I haven't solved you. The ugly duckling. And I don't know how to turn the ugly duckling into an answer. God, I have not made any breakthrough. I have no additional insights about this room for now. Lamp. That's the answer. Just throw the entire room in the garbage and just write lamp. Uh, alright. I've solved the nursery. This room's not open yet. With no indication of how you'd even open it. This guy exists. Eyeballs? With. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get rid of map room. Uh, I clicked on the fucking OBS again. Uh, uh, hub world? Question mark. R. Romeo. Romero. Uh. With. Eyes. Those. Exist. <laughs> yeah, I was right to be suspicious of the. Of the purple on the roof. And now I know what this thing is. This one. like There's like a convention to all of these. But that one's different. And now we know why that one's different. It was, you had to see it from this perspective once the stairs were down. Eyes. Ah, we're learning things from our past experiences. Well, yeah, there are, there's weird blue here. I don't know what to do with the ugly duckling. Why is that speaker point at the ocean? So many questions to ask. Open. I always wonder how many weird details I might be missing. Exit. I know, I'll just try this door right now. Ah, dang it. It's not going. Unless we're not using that grid anymore? I don't know. It's pretty fucking hazardous for you to recycle a grid, unless it means that grid from earlier. It's like, why wouldn't it be I? So, they're at a bit of a stalemate here where O or X will win. But they'll win in the same slot, regardless, when their turn is, which is I. I guess there's four X's down and three O's down, so actually the O's, the circles are going to win. Yeah, O's are going to win because they have fewer pieces down, which means that it's their turn next. So I was wrong about X, but it doesn't change my answer. Still, I can't turn this one into a flag. Yeah. Is it just the fact that it's gonna look like a Y? Is that all it means? It's like, oh, it looks like a Y. T.O. I... So the T was just physically on here. What if I ignore the codes from the other part of the game? So that's going to look like a Y. The move for winning this match looks like an S. T's. Da 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 ba da ba. Um, ow! Shit. I mean, it's toys, right? Is that... Am I supposed to think, oh, O's are gonna win, so the answer is O's, and that's it? Hmm. I guess so. I feel like I can't be blamed for using the grid that the game already introduced and thinking that it's gonna be another instance of that.
Hey! Outstanding work. You've risen to the challenge, and I'm very proud of your effort. It will all pay off at the end of the process when you greet your brand and that it makes an indispensable virtual. But did you know it can also be there to comfort your pets or loved ones after you pass? That's right. Lock technology is here for you. Today, tomorrow, forever. Forever. Four in a row. I wonder if some of these names are here to help you to know how to play the game a little bit. I mean, checkers doesn't help you. Calling it checkers doesn't help. Hmm. You're kind of fucked if you don't know how to play these four games already, huh? Like if you're from a different culture or something. I don't know how... I don't know. Maybe these are really typical. Maybe these are so prototypical as concepts that they like have spread across the world enough that you don't have to like explain them to anybody. I genuinely have no idea. So I think it comes down to the maze that I don't understand and the ugly duckling. <sighs> I guess it's worth noting. Yeah. They did say to use outside resources. Like to Google stuff, basically. The game told me to Google stuff. I find that kind of interesting. Should I Google the ugly, ugly duckling? Do, 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 do. I don't really know the ugly duckling story, if I'm being honest. I don't remember it. Is Do we get a short version somewhere? Uh, it's, it's, it's a Wikipedia is always the short version. When the story begins, a mother duck's eggs hatch. One of the little birds is perceived by the other birds and animals on the farm as an ugly little creature and suffers much verbal and physical abuse from them. Jesus. He wanders sadly from the barnyard and lives with the wild ducks and geese until hunters slaughter the flocks. He finds a... Jesus, <laughs> they all got murdered? <laughs> he finds a home with an old woman, but her, cat, but her cat and hen tease and taunt him... Oops, dropped my controller. Taunt him mercilessly, and once again he sets off alone. The duckling sees a flock of migrating wild swans. He is delighted and excited. But he... swans. Sw oh, it's the ugly duckling. He turns out to be a swan. I remember now. Swan. Is that the fucking answer? I guess I don't have to worry about forgetting duck, so I can go ahead and just switch this out and try stuff. Swaz. Someone was definitely shouting about this one. Okay. Yep. The ugly duckling. Success. I can't say that I. I'm beginning to gain some clarity. I designed this simulation to map the human mind, and it nearly worked. But the process was far too stressful for most users. The side effects were unpleasant, and the completion rate was abysmal. We thought the hint system could solve the problem, but the result was just still far too intense for most users. I believe in the end I was let go, and the project was terminated. But that doesn't make sense, does it? I... I must have... Bye. Swan. Hmm. It's a little bit of a leap because it involves uh, making up a word that's not in that's not given to you by the solution directly. But at the same time, yeah, it's like, oh, the ugly duckling turns out to be a swan, a four-letter word, which is what you need. So it's pretty it's fairly reasonable. You just have to know the story of the ugly duckling or look it up, which uh, the game did say to do at the beginning of the game. Obviously, sparingly, like, you don't want to just look up the answers to the game. But, uh, if you hear the ugly duckling, you're like, what? And you're like, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I solved this room. What the fuck does the ugly duckling mean? I'm from Portugal or something. I don't, I don't know what the f I have no idea which countries would and wouldn't know the ugly duckling. Hello. Hello. You weren't one of the ones for that door. 
You opened the back door. And the back door is a different fucking place. As we discussed. I'm... It, I'm really interested in the fact that this is a thing that you can do in this game. Oh my god. I mean, this is a fairly cool trick to do in general. It's a pretty cool trick to do in the level editor slash game making thing that's contained in another video game. Like, this is kind of a... It's not exactly like a high-octane action game that's pushing everything to its limits, but at the same time, that is a trick I don't expect to work. I'm gonna be honest, up until now, I thought they were using some sort of loading trick to, like, dump assets when you're not looking and load something else as you continue the castle, through the building. It's like I walk in here, and you can't see the door from here, then as I enter, it's like, oh, there's a hallway. That hallway shouldn't be there. And then as you go in, oh, there's a kitchen. And it's like, at this point, I can't see the front door. So they can dump the front door and then sh show this place instead. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that's a cool trick. But I think I know how they did it, even though I don't know much about game development and all that. But de this definitely fucks with me. What fucked with me is going back here and I'm like, oh, shit, this is a different place. Cool. Which is a thing that I kind of predicted would happen, is you'd go out a door and come out a different place entirely. But what I didn't expect was to turn back and see the door is still open. And admittedly, you can't see shit. It looks like a skybox. So that is not very impressive. But then I walked into this world and turned around and saw the newly opened door. And it's like, okay, well, here's the world I started in. And there's the hammock hedge maze place. And they're in frame at the same time. And I'm like, that's, for me, For me, that doesn't necessarily have a, an amazing understanding of video game development or anything, or any, besides just observing them constantly. I'm like, fuck, that's actually a pretty good trick. <laughs> like, that's like, the kind of trick you only get from, like, Portal games and shit. And Portal does that stuff by, like, literally loading two separate r versions of the room, I think, or some shit like that. It's a lot. Like, I think that's what's so uh, resource-intensive about the portal time travel portal game I played was the fact that th I think it was, at that point, it's like four rooms, and it's just like potentially just going insane with the assets. Oh, okay. No! Stop clicking on the wrong monitor. Yeah, I can just get rid of game room. Andy. Hope this uh, list I'm making fucking matters at some point, and I'm not just being an obsessive weirdo. But they're both possible. Who knows? Endangered species. Dear reader, this volume has been compiled as an act of good faith and generosity to counter the fabrications of the environmental elite, oh, and shine the light of truth upon their false pamphlets and hidden letters. Kelbians. The Mountain Gorilla. The Mountain Gorilla is found in the misty upper altitudes of dormant volcanoes. What? <laughs> It is suspected that it is due to the shame of being the hairiest member of the gorilla family. Okay, I see I see how this is going to go. Despite their diminutive height, 150 centimeters when standing upright, the mean weight for a male is 195 kilograms. As such, physical combat is not recommended. 150 centimeters. That is about five feet tall. Okay. I needed, I don't, I needed it to mean something to me. The hippopotamus. Native to sub-Saharan Af Africa, the hippopotamus is a cantankerous and violent thief. It has been known to raid crops given the opportunity and will not hesitate to attack humans when provoked. Numerous reports indicate the potential peril of consuming this ungulate. The author concludes one should avoid this dangerous beast in the wild and also it's at supper time. Yeah, I think... There's like some big number of people that die to hippo attacks every year or something. Sayola. This evasive species remained undiscovered until 1992. Although sometimes referred to as the Asian unicorn, 
It is nothing at all, there's nothing at all magical about a Sayola. In fact, the Sayola has only been photographed in the wild three times. More astute readers may question the very existence of this animal, and rightly so. Don't believe everything you read. Sea turtle. Immediately after copulation, the female sea turtle buries her eggs in the sand. Having sp ex expended 30 to 60 minutes caring for her young, the mother abandons the nest and does not return. <laughs> Wow, what an easy gig. When hatched, the newborn sea turtles struggle up upwards through the sand and crawl into the ocean alone. The this endangered status this immortal this immoral and irresponsible beast is doubtless a result of its lack of commitment to the parenting process. The species' best hope for survival is a strong injection of family values. <laughs> it is pretty fucking funny that they just abandon their kids. Wait, hang on. Okay. The corners are weird. The mountain gorilla has a cross in the top left, and then two, three hanging chads. <laughs> but the hippo has three crosses and one chad. Sayola has three crosses and a chad, three crosses and a chad. I don't know if that means anything. The Sunda tiger. The Sunda islands have been uh, home to three different tiger species, all referred by this moniker. Of these, the Havan and Bali tigers have been extinct since last century, and today only the Sumatran tiger remains. The Sunda, ti uh, the Sunda Islands are also home to three distinct varieties of the delicious and invigor invigorating Sumatra coffee bean. None of their these are extinct because they offer value to the human race. Unlike a tiger, the glorious bean would not eat us given the opportunity. The blue whale. The blue whale can grow up to 30 meters long and is the largest animal ever known to have lived on Earth. Today, between 10,000 and 15,000 of these nightmarish ocean dwellers still exist in the wild. By mass, 15,000 blue whales equate to more than 40 million humans. If they ever decide to turn against us, it may be we who are endangered. It'd be a little hard for them to get on land, though. The black rhinoceros. Built like a tank and equipped with a deadly horn, the black rhino is a terrifying, terrifying sight to behold. Its irrational and aggressive tendencies make it one of mankind's deadliest foes, though it does make for a handsome decoration in one's sitting room. Placement should be central to the far wall, preferably above a large mantle. Proper lighting of the trophy is highly recommended. When done correctly, the horn will cast a very imposing shadow. Sumatran elephant. Mainstream science has concluded the species is herbivorous, but although this remains difficult to believe uh, confronted with its appearance. Would you be content to eat vegetables if you weighed 500 kilograms and could eat whomever you like? But fear not, reader, the scourge of the Sumatran elephant has nearly been eradicated. Reports indicate that there may be as few as 2,400 of these uh, hideous brutes alive today. I wonder if any of these numbers might matter. An orangutan. Orangutan translates to person of the forest. Friends of the creature claim it is intelligent and a close relative to the human, but only a half wit would be taken by such obvious drivel. Mother-in-law jokes aside, the orangutan is nothing but in co has nothing in common with man. However, the author must submit, when kept in captivity and dressed in human attire, and most especially when smoking a cigarette, the orangutan does provide some small uh, value to mankind, unlike my mother-in-law. Polar bear. Coverage of Arctic sea ice, the polar bear's domain, has been declining at the rate of 82,000 kilometers per square, uh, square per kilometers per year, which is a horrifyingly large number to read out loud. If this, if this sounds alarming, consider the total coverage is in excess of 10 million kilometers squared, or 2% of the surface of the planet Earth. Also, one of those kilometers was capitalized, and one of them wasn't. If one were to do the math, the result would be cert would certainly indicate that we will not run out of sea ice for at least 1 million years. This leaves ample time for the polar bear to either find a new habitat or invent the ice box. Yeah, that'll be... A super easy thing for it to do, bluefin tuna. Populations of the bluefin tuna are at an all-time low due to overfishing. Already extinct in the Black Sea and critically endangered in the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean is now home to the only stable population. It's not difficult to understand why. 
The, as the fatty belly of the bluefin tuna is a highly sought-after ingredient in sushi and sashimi. The author recommends the hasty and ravenous consumption of such now before there aren't any left. Armor Leopard. That just sounds like an anime character or like a monster, not a monster hunter, monster rancher? I don't know. The, the Armor Leopard is an incredible physical specimen. It can run up to 60 kilometers per hour, has a vertical leap of up to 3 meters, and it can leap up to 6 meters horizontally. This begs the question, how does a creature so agile not manage to elude poachers? Because uh, they got a gun. And leopards don't understand what guns do and work, so you pretty much just need line of sight with one, is the secret here. Can we truly blame those who hunt the animal for its immense decorative and medicinal value? Yes. Does there rep it also I doubt that the latter is true. It's usually made up medicine that's lies. Does the responsibility to avoid predators not begin with the individual? Obviously the armor le leopard isn't trying very hard. Wow. This guy's a prick. <laughs> would you would you be a an herbivore if you were a billion pounds and could eat whoever you wanted? I know what you would do, apparently. The dick. Why is this piece of fence shorter than the other piece of fence? Why is there a tree out there? Why can I see into this relatively low detail environment that doesn't stand to scrutiny me that well? <laughs> Just saying, keeping that fence the same height as the other ones would probably help with that a bit. Hello. Uh, we seem to have found an actual maze this time. tree. There is an egg up here. Are they going to do this? Ooh. Why is there like a divot in that part? Are they going to pull a trick here where I have to memorize the map or something? Like in the witness where I have to like repeat where stuff was in the maze? Like, ah, this is where the, the egg is. The nest Another chessboard. What is with all the chessboards? I'm sure that'll come up at some point, but at this point I don't have any idea what to even write about them. Key. Thank you for telling me that after I found it, but okay. So there's a hexagon. And that's all that's left. Leaf maze. Yeah, I found the tree. I found the board. There's the key. I don't know why this is at the end of the whole thing, but okay. Doesn't do me a lot of good when I've already solved it. I guess it's good to be reminded that there's... Apparently a hexagon. Sup? Lock. Why? Okay, um, let's see. Always with the clicking in the wrong place. Maze. That looks like 235. Yeah, I believe that's 235. So we could go... I guess I could go double check what that means. Since it's likely to mean letters. And all that was in here was, yeah, there's the egg, the chessboard, the tree. Otherwise, we're just like, hey, this place exists, I guess. What does the candy mean? 
Does this overworld have two clocks in it? We've solved that clock. I don't think there was anything out here. It's a pretty low detail spot. Not a ton going on out here either. I don't think I've discovered a second clock to finish spelling out a word or something. Yeah. Also, I went the wrong way. I think the clock room is downstairs. Okay, so 235 is in. Clicked on the wrong screen again. It's just my mouse looks the same in the preview of the video as it does in my real screen. In. Hmm. Maybe the inn is a clue of its own. But at the moment, I don't know, don't know what to do with it. All right, so before I go any further with other stuff, let's just acknowledge the fact that I've got access to... There wasn't like a new... There wasn't actually a puzzle panel out here, right? But look at that weird bendy house. It's curving. Yeah, I don't think there was anywhere to type an answer. Yeah, I don't know what to do with in. We'll see. For now, I go to the purple room, which might be the only locked door besides the exit. Let us in. Analytics. Math. Lowercase h. That's weird. Stop doing that. God, fix your shit, Sony. Unlock. Those four minus those four equals three red. Equals... Mm -hmm. Lowercase h. Have we had other instances of that? This is a lowercase o. Underscore, underscore, O-H. Just keeping that in mind for now. That's a weird detail. 